Good morning, my people. Good morning, my people. And welcome to Koiki Media Live. Benny, it is the finest Yoruba Nation broadcasting platform that talks about the right of the Yoruba people, the self-determination, that talks about reason why the Yoruba people must now exit Nigeria. I say good morning and welcome to our transmission and I welcome many of you that will watch the repeat as well. Mokiwa Len Konsipe Karo Nino Winter Tawa Wai Nino Yuni Ibi Long Pe Nino Yuni Eba Mondong Pe Nino Yuni O Tutu Atiwa Nino O Tutu Moki Mr. Saeed Balogwe Karasa Moki Bugomo O Dua Ka Kiri Bugwe Agbaye Mone Shida Dani Mutu Bayi Emi aburo yina ni ala yomi koiki Tiki bo yimo si koiki media Moke yi yawa, moke yi babawa Moke yi bubo yi ti eje Ololu fewa Ti yanga na babawa Mwa nki babawa ala no Profesor Adebanji akito ye Baba ti on wajwa la le yoruba Ti wan sun kompe ha Ba o ni kon si shewa ribay Mama kibu we in diaspora kwa kushel nino tutu awa ti awa nino nino tutu e inti awa na injiri ano to kubeli tu mari kujo kubawa tani si kuma wakului kiawari shi kiari je kiari lo nino biti onkwe ni na injiri a koko di kubu we ma tau bubu bani awa campaign. In Nigeria, Nigeria, okay, she country country, Alifio, Kontomo, Nigeria has had huge impact on our lives, and it is time that we say enough is enough. But how much you work on it? Enough is not enough yet. And that is the reason why it's he actually do one in the country in Nigeria. What could put any call restructure in Nigeria for a very long time? What refused that to restructure him? To repay Oma Kitoba restructure Oma work from him, Oma work from him. But in Nigeria, I want to see one gen in Nigeria. I want to go to Jera. 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 And that has been the reason why we are struggling as Yoruba people. Opolopo on tia wan sofu pe in kanshen lo yi oti di in ti ko le shisha o wani no po shi ma shisha pe ka shi suru diye ma wa ma piya mwata ni ka shi suru yi pe titi di ba wu ni ka fi shi suru yi ati pe titi di asiko wo Ori ama she suru na la kukuwa lati ibati ati wanenu Nigeria. But unfortunately, Nigeria has failed me and you. Bubu mo yoruba tumbeni bubu biti oluka lukuwa wa mumberi la ro imani she democracy ni. And she a be into one lock on she in Nigeria. What can feel Nigeria? She try your luck. Yoruba country can have his own system. But unfortunately, I won't come fair And that is the reason why we are where we are today. But our tea ni afe, our ni a ni jako suwa, a de ni jako rewa. Because it is the only hope for mankind. Because since our continent is a little farmer, we go to the farm now. Let's see, 
a decal of try come me a decal of try something different but many of you try and come in so that is the reason why we have skipped what you are stuck seeing no union here i want to watch the politicians they come every four years they talk about nigeria is going to work paper i wrote the name metro newspaper all right you know program more team of paper as at the time but more that the law, more to move paper, more to pay in Timo Sonar Roy, Nipa, independent of judiciary and police, Nilui. You want to paper, more to pay or correspond, more for Timo So. We are probably just about 15 minutes or less. So I'm going to go straight into it without wasting too much time. Rishi Sunak. Yeah, Prime Minister, uh, only I have a new flight plan because this Supreme Court government is a lose. The government lost out Lati Fekwan on Losi, Rwanda, and one asylum seekers. So, Rwanda's scheme is illegal according to the Supreme Court yesterday ruling. But Prime Minister Sokwe Oushima fight. Prime Minister promised emergency law to fly migrants out and not say what they illegal immigrants or oh, I don't claim asylum. So I'm going to read it briefly. Okay, let me understand it in Timothy Solilori. Rishi Sunak is promising emergency laws to fly illegal migrants to Rwanda after the Supreme Court tore the current plan to shred and plunge him into another crisis. Britain's five most senior judges all agreed the East African state was not safe. Third nation to send migrants as there as there was a risk they could be sent back to the countries they already flew from. So in terms of the those that apply for asylum in UK, they were meant to be taken back. Of it being lost in Rwanda, if a lot of my process will end up our process in case of it, we are going to see UK, what to be part of our. But the Supreme Court said no, that is not going to happen because Rwanda is not a safe place. Let it deport and we will not. But the government is not happy. But government only choice to think of the government place you see because it's the Supreme Court ruling. The government says it's 140 million policy. I talked about policy. Policy is very, very important. Uh, the current administration support so, no, I mean, policy to bring Nigeria back, you know, economy, security, and whatever the President Bolat you nobody's know, talking about. So there must always be policy. But this particular policy to try to send asylum seeker to Rwanda is not a safe place because that is still East Africa. It is still Africa. And Africa, we know, is a crazy place. If you send people there, they are likely to be sent back to their country. So the Supreme Court says enough is enough. It's not going to happen. I don't have anything to talk about that because that could be a dotted video so i'm not going to even talk about it i'm not even going to read your comment out so i've seen different version of the video you know i'm not i'm, I'm not going to respond to that so there's more problem than that as well so the government says it's 140 million pounds that is what the federal i mean the the, the british government is going to spend on this policy almost a lot of money paying human traffickers to make a delirious channel crossing into the UK belong to my work with a small boat. I'm sure some of you got to UK in that route. And though but you were playing well on the look by the UK. I don't care, I don't know. But after a torrent of legal challenges, the only flight so far was stopped 
on the Tama in June last year. So that means be lucky that you want to be policy that day. The government have not been able to take anybody to Rwanda. Even the only flight that was meant to take people out of UK to Rwanda, those asylum seekers, was stopped. That is a system that works. So that flight was stopped last year, June 2022. But the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, in Yarakuni, right, is still insisting or insisted, I do not agree with the decision, but I respect it and I accept it. This is where we talk about democracy. The government of Bola Tinobu does not have to agree with everything that we talked about when it comes to those of us that wants to break away from Nigeria. The next but the question the is, the Supreme Court in Nigeria today gives order and the federal government refused to listen to that order. That is not a country. If any country doesn't respect the institution, you might as well use tissue paper and clean your ass and drop it in the toilet bin and flush it off. That is Nigeria. Rishi Sunak, this man, only... I might not agree with the Supreme Court ruling, but I respect it and I accept it. Those two words are very, very important. The rule of law that Nigeria doesn't have, the reason why many Nigerians are struggling today, the reason why you're struggling as people is because Nigeria does not have rule of law. You see rule of law in Nigeria. Everything goes in Nigeria. It's a shit country. Everything goes. And if a country doesn't have a rule of law, you might as well use tissue paper to clean your ass and throw it in the bin or in the toilet and flush it. So Rishi Sunak says, I don't have to agree with the Supreme Court ruling. You cannot take asylum seekers from UK and fly them to Rwanda. Rwanda is not a safe place. But he says that the rule of law is fundamental to our democracy. We are prepared for all outcomes of this case. So the government of Rishi Sunan has also prepared that whatever it takes is either the Supreme Court says it's okay, take people back to Rwanda if they're claiming asylum and if we process them, we can bring them back. But the Supreme Court said no, you cannot take people to Rwanda. Rwanda is not a safe place. Rwanda is just like Nigeria, it's just like South Africa. These are African countries that do not respect human rights. So, he now said, Rishi Sunak, that we have been working on new international treaty with Rwanda. He said it will give a legal guarantee that those sent to those that are sent from UK will be protected from removal. I mean, it's easy for this man to sit here and say that, oh, send asylum seeker to Rwanda, and if they get there, we will protect them. How are you going to protect them? You can't protect them because they are no longer in UK. The government there can do and undo, so it is very, very risky. And that is why the Supreme Court, five judges, says that you cannot, it is illegal to send people to Rwanda, the East African state was not safe, the third nation to send migrants. But Britain also bring back anyone if, you know, Rishi Sunak says we'll bring you back. So let's go to page four for the continuity of these, uh, you know, asylum seekers. So again, you can see people protest. People will always protest. That is the only way you can get your message. Somebody's protesting. So you keep them in UK. Don't take them to Africa. But uh, you, they protest. You are waiting for the easy way out of Nigeria. No problem. He says, I won't let foreign courts block us. Do so by the court. And the new UK law 
would declare Rwanda a safe place. Rwanda is not a safe place, okay? Which is Sunak. So, again, but he also won, he was ready to ditch the European Convention on Human Rights, but which is enforced by the European Court of Human Rights. Standing behind a stop hold. So I'm not gonna go through all those, you know, I've read the most important part, but there's something I want to talk about again, which is the former Home Secretary. So I picked up something again, uh, you know, Sule Bergman, I talked about her this morning in my early morning broadcast. So now, these are public opinion, okay? So what you're looking right now is the woman that I'm talking about. She's called Sule Braveman Atisake. Alamansaki, if you underperform, we chuck you away and we bring somebody else. This is the prime minister. Now, these are what people are saying, you know, public opinion. Will Sule Braveman end up leading a breakaway conservative faction? Politicians all over the world, they're all the same. Some of us will be heartily glad that Rishi Sunak did not keep all the promises he allegedly made to his former Home Secretary. Doing, doing so would have caused irreparable damage. Did he hear that? If, if this Prime Minister have done everything he has said he wanted to do, it would have caused irreparable damage to the social fabric of the United Kingdom. However, there are certainly issues here regarding the Prime Minister integrity that he would have to address. The question is, does your politicians at home in Nigeria have integrity? You should ask yourself that and be able to answer that yourself. Also, in the light of Sule Bergman, this woman, okay, Yai, Ati Nidani, as he took it out. Braveman resignation letter and manifesto, the question has to be asked, will the Tories now split? Check your back, government is human split, so no meji. Since the whole BRICS exit debate, remember that the, the BRICS exit, the United Kingdom left European Union in 2016, there was no fight, there was no gun, it was a vote, yes or no. The question is, we should be all those of us that are in the quest for the self-determination be given the opportunity to say, do we want to remain in Nigeria? Yes or no? If you don't want to be remaining in Nigeria, then it's either yes or no in the referendum. That is how things are done in a civilized society. So the UK left European Union in 2016 and nobody killed each other. So asking for the right to self-determination is not a crime. It's just that some of you are too like, you know, you are, you are stood <laughs> because they're not understanding it. And we don't blame you because like I said this morning, some of you, so my job is to remove you and what we are trying to do is let you out and then so that early need breathing space and you can decide early think for I but right now early think for I that is why we are helping you to think okay mm, the reason why you use this so that kt come about there so you keep it moisture uh crude oil of fish vaseline long way mm. even vaseline lip therapy more than 63 years uh, we have crude oil but we can't provide Vaseline for you. They have to order Vaseline from outside Nigeria. Crazy country. Now, I was now trying to pick what people are saying after this Home Secretary has been chucked out at the sake. Now, however, the particularly with the return of David Cameron, Aaron David Cameron, the former UK Prime Minister, is now the Home Secretary. No. Foreign, foreign Secretary, James not Home Secretary. James Clevin, the Home Secretary. Well. I'm sure you see how politicians are all the same. David Cameron left six years, almost six years ago. Ototu Padawasi government. But we're not to talk of the Lord. Kotoli Padawasi government. 
is part of the you know party party government they knew that it was coming back but nobody saw it coming and if you don't know who David Cameron is, Ojo Elile, okay? That is David Cameron, in case you don't remember him, because Ojo is Ojo Jometa. Now, Mwanka, in that one, you call. is okay. This is Andrew Makluski. Just the same way, then you know, man, comment. So this is now public opinion on what is happening between the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, and everything. So, Arakuni Kongpireni, Andrew Makluski, from Middlesex. Now that Rishi Sunak has put the final nail in this in his conservative party yes, coffin, right. will some members form a breakaway new conservative party that will garner the grassroots and keep hold of some red wall seats, which at the moment will be impossible, position themselves as a party of the silent majority? Just like Article was saying yesterday that maybe they have to match together good morning everyone sorry i can't be mentioning names this morning because of the time constraint but i say good morning to every one of you this is quickie media as we always say and the time is just 8 49 a.m in nigeria you are one hour ahead of us always remember that and we are already in a very bitter winter not as cold as canada but i don't like the winter so i try to make sure i dress very warm when i leave my house now they wouldn't win enough to govern 100 to 150 seats but would have a loud enough voice that the electoral would at least feel they were represented the next person, Jim from London. Sule Braveman is on the road. Rishi Suna will not lead the Tory at the next general election. Sule Braveman as the leader will win by landslide. So what they are saying is that yeah, politicians, they're all the same. Unlikely boom boom near January. I think the election is coming up in January. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to check. The next person is from Rotterdam. And he went to say, I would suggest that Sule Braveman, in a woman here, okay? I would suggest Sule Braveman is the closest the Tory party have to conviction politician, which is a very rare thing these days. I look at the people around her, and all I see as career politicians, just like in Nigeria. All your politicians are career politicians. They don't care about the citizens. All they care is all about you. All they care is about themselves alone. Um, all I see are career politicians whose only interest is to further their own interest and are please colleagues. So, Tabans of Oyekwe, politicians in Nigeria are the same, is the same thing here in Europe. So, this guy is saying that Sully Braveman, I look at the people around that and all I see are career politicians whose only interest is to further their own interest. So, some of you think that the interest of the politicians is to take care of the citizen in that contraction you call Nigeria. No, they are not interested in you. They are more interested in themselves because they are not there to serve the people. Let's go swiftly again. Eleni Sule Braveman is a decisive, speedful, toxic person. Talk about toxic. You don't know. Most of your politicians are toxic. Toxic in one in Toba 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 Fit Toba Fisialara Omama Gia Jenny. So Arapuini Sule Braveman is a decisive, spiteful, toxic person. She is the last person who should be the Prime Minister. You know, Jagaban Eti Bisi Benisi. A one complain, a yang badu, a ye PC. Why are you complaining? Say you want Tinubu to be the president, he's been the president. Let him bring out the policy, let him bring out the plan of how he wants to revive Nigeria so that Nigeria work for you. I am not in Nigeria, I am 6,000 kilometers away from Nigeria. So if you like, abuse me. If you like, say I be Libra, whatever, blah, especially those bomb bastard Yoruba people where they call themselves conservative. I am not in Nigeria, okay? Before I suffer, he go pay. And I don't have anything to bring 
or to come and take in Nigeria. If I need anything in Nigeria, I can order it. It will be here within maximum Timbafilo DHL, maximum seven days through the cargo. So, what am I trying to bring out this morning is just to tell you that the UK no, they play politics. Okay? And politics is a very dirty game. And Uriba Yoni on our politics. I think I saw something again in the paper that I want to share with us this morning. <laughs> in Nigeria, you trust me, G. American the Okay? If you come to the Lo, you will see. You will be more. I want you trust me, G. They are very rare. Very, very rare. About 300 people is not something that is common. Very strange West. Double pregnancy for a woman with two uteruses. A one in 15 million miracle. But what it big go go if I go away, I won't hear the con without adding action to it, and that is where we have problem. So in what he on bad rap way, call on Jackie a woman be more. If hospital will not be busy, in your tea be rare. Hospital will not be busy. She hospital here, she might let her do it. It's a cafe cafe and they're preparing to. A woman born with two uteruses has become pregnant in both despite one in 50 million odds of double conception. Kelsey Achi, she's 32 years old, just like a lot of you in Nigeria, female, 32 years old. Nobody to take care of you after somebody impregnated you and they don't run away. And even those that want to stay, they can't take care of you because the hospital bills, the, the taking care of that pregnancy has made many people run and left women in dilemma in Nigeria. This woman, she's only 32 years old. This one, one okay? She has two uteruses. Very, very rare case. 50 million miracle. Kersley Achi, she's 32 years old. She's also a massage therapist. A lot of you study the same thing in Nigeria. You are now doing POS. You mem I mean, how can a female that study something, you know, to do with healthcare, she's now doing POS. She POS there, Kemashi. It's because Nishe and Tagbado. And the final and all destination that. of this bus has changed. We apologize for any so, inconvenience to your journey. Once again, please listen for more. Kesley Achi, she's a 32 year old massage therapist from Alabama in the United States of America. Found out when she was 17 years old that she had two uteruses that failed. A rare condition, very rare condition. Very, very rare condition affecting around only 300 women around the world. She and her husband, Celeb, found out they were expecting two daughters during an eight-week ultrasound visit in May. Many of you want to get pregnant. We pray that those of you that are looking for child are while I alone. But many of you, they loan you in just system one in Nigeria, that is why take care of you. I want to walk there. Don't do to loan you. Don't want to take care of you. I might also want to loan you because the system is faulty and the system is not working. Nigeria is just a, a, a dead trap for every single one of us. While writing on our Instagram account, double actually. The mother of three roads. We were kind of blown away. She added, during the first ultrasound, we had a lot of laughs. Kesley is hoping to give back naturally to the babies who she dubs the girlies. 
The due date of the thriving pair is around Christmas. I won't care how many songs come out. 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 I won't care how many we must lock it, Bani, because it's an evil country. Then we Nigeria. Most of you go to church, go to mosque, the tradition. They're all the same. So ni Louis, I won't care. So he lay listen to us up here. We be money Christmas. I want son ya ni be by. So next month, no son ya we ma be more. Now, if it's more than you look, we go money. If it's more than need, be better. If it's not in need. <laughs> only one big only Kesley one woman needs cesarean you know she might probably have to have a cesarean to get these babies out section for one of or both babies role they like to tell me at every doctor's visit that you are aware we have never had a situation like this before or she situation to, to come on and to need you trusses me gee very very rare but only I feel like I have the best team for this situation. I am at the best hospital at Alabama. My question from what on woman are you in the uh, let me put it this way. Do you have the best team currently right now in Nigeria to help you to manage whatever you are going through? That's the question. In Johnny the best thing that can take care of you as people in Nigeria today in Germany or you are just waiting for that miracle think about it yourself and ask yourself do you have the best thing just like I asked this morning are we practicing democracy in Nigeria one thing is when the appropriate time comes, some of you will come back to some of these videos and you'll be asking, ah, but boy, then so be I'll leave you again in good hands of Elie Dumari. This is Koiki Media, and it's just one minute past 9 a.m. Today is the 16th day of November in a very cold winter in London. I will leave it for now. Join me at 11 o'clock when I come back for the Star Radio UK Morning Show. Have a great time.